it's Maureen. Thanks so much for downloading the SLP Planner. I'm going to give you a walkthrough about how you can use the editable pages that come with it. So let's start with the covers because that's always the most fun, right? So here are your cover choices that come with the new planner. You can add your name to each one. If you want to do that, all you do is come up here where it says text and click on text box. And then you can just put a text box wherever you want and then type your name. You can move it around. If you want to change the font, highlight your text and come up to all the different fonts you have. And then you can just click on whatever you want and it'll change the font. And if you said that you don't want your name there, just click delete. So it's a quick little walkthrough of your covers. You can put your name down in here, that's why that said empty space, or you can just leave a full C extra pink if you want. All my coffee fans, one just for you, donuts, don't forget. And then, just something simple, speech stuff, because we all love speech. Here is an example of one of the parent guardian letters. To make this a little more customizable, you can take a text box and put it down here on the lines and then you can put in your name and information. If this is wording that you like but you want to take out a word here or there, what you would do then is go to the next slide. You'll see the font isn't that cute font that was in the previous one. This is um, a general font that will be on everyone's computer. If you don't have the matching font, it can really skew things, so that's why this one looks different. So then here, all you'll do if you want to change something, take it out, is say if you don't want the portion here that talks about the date where they are scheduled, highlight and delete, and then you can add in something else if you want to. So with these, with all the parent letters in English and Spanish, you do have the option to keep the wording and then just add your information down over in here or going to the next one and then deleting information and adding in your own phrases and sentences if you want to. Same here is the Spanish version and then here is the editable Spanish version and same with the black and white. The black and white ones are here to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, just for older students who maybe you don't want to send something home that's maybe too cutesy or too colorful. Um, you want to keep it simple but still get their attention. So that's why it's nice and bold at the top. Next, we have editable um, certificates. So if just little motivators, you want to keep your students going, you can again click a text box. You can add in their name here if you want, just to keep things prepped. Um, or you can put your signature down here and print off quite a few. Here are some certificates because we know our kids like to see their name typed out and feel all official. Here is a speech session daily update. So for parents who want the frequent contact or just if you want to send home so that parents knew that the session went well that day, you can um, enter it all in in the computer if that is easier for you and print them out. Um, you can just, if you wanted to check the boxes, text box again is your friend, put a little text box over that and put an X and that's one way that you can take care of that or you can delete it. Here are extra notes here for activities, notes, um, lines down here, section for behavior. This is the intervention form. So I will type in my student's name up here at the top and the date, student name again over here, and then their goal, you can just type another text box, and type in their goal, and that's it, and then print it out. I recommend printing out two copies of this, um, just in case you lose their lose track of what their goal wording was and you didn't save it you have your own copy and then you send home a copy even though parents will just send back this bottom portion um, sometimes they send back the whole sheet and then they need a copy of their own so just make two copies keep one for yourself or in their file and then one just on hand 
there is an update. So after the end of their cycle, you want to give an update to parents about progress. You want to keep track of their data in a little bit more of a concise way. So here is some notes, um, lines for notes up here. You can write their baseline data in this box here, again, with the inputting a text box. And then over here, updating on each cycle. The top line, you can put the date. The bottom boxes, we can put the new um, progress. And again, any notes and uh, lines for you to put your information on. This is just one that's general. If you didn't want to have speech at the top, you have that option. Student notes pages. So if you are using something like Good Notes or Notability, you can upload this document in there and take notes that way and then keep things um, all on your iPad. So we have two to a page, one to a page, and then just general. So if you want to take notes but you want something um, that's just a little more formatted. The data collection piece, this part I really like. Again, the text box is your best friend. So you're going to put a text box where their name, minutes, grade teacher are, and then where it says the annual goals. If you have an IEP program, I'm going to zoom in on my little mouse there. If you have an online IEP program that your district uses, copy and paste their goals from there instead of having to type everything again. So you'll go in and you'll copy and you can double click and paste it in and you might have to resize the box a little bit, maybe shrink the font, but it'll all fit on one line and you're not typing everything for days. Now one thing about how to use this, oops, sorry. So what you'll do is you'll enter in their annual goal, all of their objectives. If you're in an area where you do not use objectives and you just have long-term goals, you can decide however you want to format that. These objectives can be your long-term goals or you can just have it at the top and one per page. When you are going through and collecting your data, over here you'll have your date. You'll write down the number of the objective or goal that you're targeting. And if you want to add in those extra details of how the session went, you can just circle the, um, the codes that we have here. So under activity, you have discussion, book, your key is up here. So you can just circle the one that applies. When it comes to attendance, I'll usually put that here by the date, just in the corner, just so I have a good idea of um, what happened that day. So even though I saw them, it might have been I saw them for a little bit, and then the teacher asked them to come back. Um, or I had a meeting, and I wasn't able to see them, so then I'll just mark that just to keep track. Again, therapy type, here's your key, your data, and then any comments or plans that you want to make here. You can type it all in. Or if you want to just put their goals in here, copy and paste and print it out and do this bottom portion by hand, that's entirely up to you. Next is for a daily session plan. This is what I use. I'll put my students or groups here, their time, what the students are going to work on or what the group will work on, and then the activity that I'm going to use. So this is what I'll use for daily plans, and I'll put the date up here in this teal circle. If you want a weekly plan, if that's how it works better for you to plan out by week than by day. Here is a box for you. We have one for Mondays for articulation, language, and pragmatics. So you can put your week, any materials that you might need so you'll know what to gather. And then here is one weekly by theme. So if you're working with preschool or uh, older grades and you just prefer to use themes um, to help plan your sessions, that's awesome. This is for you. Your theme can go at the top, any materials you might need in that same breakdown in that table format. It goes Monday through Friday. And then this is a blank one. So if you like to plan by, if you would prefer this to be a daily planner, but you want to have Monday group one, Monday group two, instead of you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's up to you to use this. Again, you're going to go to text box, and you'll just... Right, what is <laughs> you want right in there and you can make this to be whatever template that you will want to use and if you don't want it you click delete so those are the editable pages that come with SLP plan if there is something that you would like that you don't see send me an email at the speech bubble SLP at gmail.com 
and we'll see what we can do about getting it added in. Until then, I hope you enjoy it and it keeps you organized. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.